Rene Magritte. He was a witty and thought-provoking surrealist artist, part of the surrealist movement. Magritte would paint very realistically, but would want the viewer to question their perception of reality. He didn't want to ask, what are we looking at? He would want to know, why is it there? Magritte called this painting, Cessinipimepeep, which means, this is not a pipe. Well, is it? Magritte was famous for putting elements together called juxtapose. Either they have very close similarities or very different. In this painting, he had some fun, didn't he? Look at, there's a comb on someone's bed. Look at the size of the glass in the middle of the bedroom. Have you ever seen one that large? Does it belong in a bedroom? Look at the walls. It's the sky outside. Look at the reflection in the mirror. There's a window. Is the window really there? This became a style called surrealism. Magritte was inspired by things around him and things from his dream. In an interview, he was asked to explain his painting. My painting is visible images which conceal nothing. They evoke mystery and, indeed, when one sees one of the pictures, one asks oneself this simple question. What does that mean? It does not mean anything, because mystery means nothing. It is unknowable. What do you think Magritte meant by that? Why do you think he named this painting Re Grand Guerre, meaning the Great War? Look at how he played with negative and positive space. Are rocks light and airy, like a cloud? Or do they float in space over an ocean? This painting Magritte made in 1928. It's called The False Mirror. He asked, is what you're seeing corresponding with what you know? He referred to this as magical realism. This painting will be our inspiration for our project. You can download this image in your assignment. Use a CD, a bowl, or a cup to make your iris, build around it, and when you're drawing your eyelashes, make sure they're coming out of the shape that's touching the iris. You see how they go on an angle? Use a Sharpie marker to trace all of your lines. My inspiration is a painting I'm working on. Use pencil to draw your details inside your iris. I used a thin black marker to trace my pencil lines so they stand out. Try using colored pencils so that you can blend and shade. Don't forget to cast shadows so it makes it look three-dimensional. Take a look at the student examples. Find your inspiration, take a picture in good lighting, and have fun.